Disclaimer, before this video starts, not everybody's gonna be happy. Oh god, what am I getting into? Shirozawa versus Shizamaki. Even though they're in the same division and had the same rank, Shirozawa was trusted more by the boss and ranked a little bit higher, I would say. But we're still gonna have the discussion. In the right corner, Shimosaka! Ah! In the left corner, Shirozawa! Ah! Let's start off with their powers. Shimazaki doesn't have a lot of confirmed powers. His hacks and abilities include teleportation. Allow me to fill you in on what my other special power is. <laughs> Check it out. I can teleport too. Extrasensory perception and movement prediction. Thing is, even though I can't see, I can predict people's movements and actions. But even if I'm hit, I have nothing to worry about. See? brief summary of that is Shimazaki uses extra sensory perception to detect and predict the movements of things. He can predict when an opponent will attack and preemptively teleport out of the way or raise a psychic barrier to avoid it. Super sensory zone. Mind eyes. Mind eye! By concentrating hard enough and focusing on his antennae, Shimazaki can sharpen his extra sensory perception until all he can see are the objects of his focus. In this case, other espers. Your injuries. The weaknesses you're not even aware of yet. Your blurred vision. Now we have Sarazawa's abilities. Umbrella Psychokinesis. Said that you didn't want to hurt anybody, didn't you? Then you're just like I am. It might be hard for you to admit. Sarazawa possesses extremely powerful Psychokinesis, which he channels through his umbrella to make it a powerful weapon, both in melee and ranged attacks. Sarazawa could kill ghosts. <laughs> I did it! Business card psychokinesis. <laughs> Sarazawa can manipulate his business cards in battle and use them as a sword or shield. Technopathy. Sarazawa is capable of using his psychic powers to communicate through technology. As you can see, they don't have anywhere near as much abilities as Mogami and Suzuki. I want to preface this by saying we could assume that Sarazawa and Shimazaki are familiar with each other. Based to the fact that their connections, you know, like they're always with His each other. His misunderstanding has gotten even worse. I mean, this isn't even a company. So I can't just say Shimazaki can do what he did to these guys. From this point forward, I'm going to refer to Shimazaki as Shiz because his name's way too long to say. And, you know, I'm kind of lazy. If you remember this line from this battle, Shiz said he was the second strongest only to the boss. Because other than the boss, the world's greatest esper is yours truly. <laughs> Yes, Shiz has a huge ego, but he wouldn't say that if he wasn't sure. We do also hear Shiz admitting when people are stronger than him, like what he did with Mob. Hey, this kid is on an entirely different level. And even with Suzuki, I would say, and you guys are gonna hate me, I got Shiz. And I'll tell you why. We see Sarazawa fight on a few separate occasions. He has the power that can surely overwhelm you, but we see him on occasion hold back. You held back on Joseph, didn't you? You need to obtain a calm and bold positivity. By occasion, I mean every time. Even if Sarazar wasn't holding back, we don't really know what that looks like. We have a glimpse of what that looks like when he was going against Mob, but that wasn't really enough for me to say, you know, that he's up there. What I mean by up there is if he's not able to, like, track down Shiz and hit him, I don't see a chance of him winning. We have seen people predict where he's going to teleport, but Teru is very smart. He's not, like, dumb. We don't really see Sarazawa's intellect a lot, so I, I don't think he's smart enough to do that. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Even if he was, I don't see a world where he has enough power to just, like, start spamming those, because Shiz is just going to run away. We know how, you know, he flies. For that? Are you serious? <laughs> you could say the same with Shiz. He went all out, but one-tapped everybody. But Teru. But keep in mind, Teru has crazy durability. We've seen Teru survive an enormous amount of damage. <laughs> like when he went against Question Mark Ma. So we can't use them to determine Shiz's strength. I still don't see Sarazawa winning this. His combat skill nor battle IQ is on the same level as Shiz. I like to think that Shiz is smart based on how we see him use his powers, how well and smooth he uses them. His TPing is like on a different level. Multi talented. <laughs> That quick? We haven't seen Sarazawa come up with anything special or game-changing. He hasn't honed his powers enough to have, you could say, a trump card. In a special way is when he infuses his power into, like, an object. But even that isn't uncommon. We've seen the guy from 7th Division do what I think is the same thing. 
No, but not really, because a business card psychokinesis is pretty unique and strong. I'll give him that. But it's nowhere near a trump card. And since Sarazawa can't hide his presence, I don't see a world where he's winning this one. Mad me and I'll face you head on! Self-defense rush! Another one of Reagan's special moves. But since you guys are dying to know, this is how I think Sarazawa could actually win. Let's start with Shimazaki. Back power, it's not very strong. FEC couldn't even one-shot Teru, even though he was weakened. I know I said that that shouldn't count, but you know, we gotta use that here just as a reference point because that was its attack in its strongest form. Shimazaki has the power to avoid the umbrella and, you know, go behind him or sneak up under him and just like, you know, hit him, do one of those cheesy shit. Not even a barrier would work as we've seen with Teru. So I think in order for Sarazawa to win, he's gonna have to be able to tank a couple hits and learn where Shimazaki teleporting. And if he could do that, then I think he could predict where he's gonna go. And if he just throws like a full out blast attack, he could get him. And if he hits him with one of those, it's over. This whole battle is going to have to be a mind game. You get it? Mind eyes, mind game. It's going to be a mind game. Sarazawa has to be able to trick him in order for him to win. And if Sarazawa can do all that, then yes, he's going to win. Yes, I know Sarazawa is way stronger than Teru, but Teru was also smarter. His battle IQ was way higher. And you guys are going to say, oh, he's ranked higher. He has to be stronger. But I don't think that's the case. I think the boss is smart enough to know that Shimazaki was only there to have fun, and Sarazawa was actually like loyal to him, like a dog, kind of. So of course he's going to keep him closer than someone who's just there to have fun. Who do you think would win? Put it in the comments below. Subscribe and watch this video if you want to see a different battle.